Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to Busted Head. So not only are we going to Busted Head, we're going to Pancake Creek. We're spending the night with swags on the boat. It's going to be an awesome little adventure. We are doing it because we are still on school holidays and get these kids out of the house. So it's going to be a great little spot. There's a lot of history in the old Busted Head. So there's been a lot of there's been a few murders, there's been a suicide, there's been a few uh, shipwrecks, a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to go look around. Hopefully we'll be able to go up to the lighthouse, which is like the second oldest lighthouse in Queensland. Um, yeah, so we'll check it out and see how we go. What do you reckon, Ryan? Sounds great, mate. We're going to have an epic time. Uh, we've got the rods in, we've got bait. We've got all the gear, snorkeling we're gear. taking as much gear for one night as we would take for five. But hey, we've got to go prepared. That's and it. Uh, we've got good weather ahead of us. Um, we did a little map plot last night with the kids. Uh, I've showed us some pictures. Um, my boys haven't been there. Um, so we we had a bit of a, a visual recollection um, on Google last night. Um, they're super excited. What do you reckon kids, are you guys excited? Yeah! All right, there you go. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we've just left the boat ramp at Turkey Beach and we're on our way to Adventure Town. On the hey, way. What are you reckon? You kids all ready? Yeah. You got your chocolates? Ready to Everybody go? Everybody got your chocolates. All the chocolates are ready. Ready to go for our long voyage to Pancake Creek. Huh? Stay yeah. tuned. Definitely one for the bucket list. <laughs> We've got our camping gear all here. Ryan's gonna set camp up while I watch. I'll show him how it's done. That's it. And Matador's all the way out there. The kids are playing in the rocks, getting cut. But that's alright, that's what it's all about being a kid, isn't it? Who's cut yet? Who's got an oyster cut? One. One out of three in the first ten minutes. Woohoo! Got to wear shoes, that's good thinking Dan Dan. So we're here at our campsite, we're just going to park ourselves just behind these trees. It's going to be fully sick, <laughs> fully sick. G'day guys, well here we are in paradise. We've arrived at Pancake, we've set the boat up just on the bank over there, buried all the gear onto the island. Brought the gear up to a nice, beautiful, shady area that's reasonably flat. We've set up the camp kitchen, the beds, the swags, all the gear. Now we're kicking back, relaxing, enjoying a cold drink. Cheers. Not to mention watching the tide recede, the turtles get stranded, watching them eat, eat all the seagrass, watching our boat get stranded. Us. Already we've seen like there's an abundance of life here. There's wildlife. Wildlife. And that doesn't include our kids, does it? No. <laughs> Over there. They're the wild yeah. ones. They're out there playing in the bush uh, with the snakes. But they're having a ball already. They haven't stopped since they've been here. We're pretty much on a deserted little enclave here. We've got the beach more or less to ourselves. There's a small group just over to uh, my left. But um, apart from that, I've got nothing but views. Beautiful views 
of the ocean, the inlet. These beautiful turtles are coming in to the shallows and feeding on all the seagrass. It's absolutely spectacular. Soon we'll get our snorkeling gear on and do, do some um, some underwater exploration, eh? Yeah, sounds good. A little bit of coral reef viewing. Yep. Look at this. So good, man. Checking out some fish, fish activity, piscatorial, it's all happening out here. You guys watching that sunset? How nice is that sunset? Do you like the sunset, guys? Yeah. Let's check it out. Look at that. That big ball ready to come down. Beautiful. All right, guys, what are we making here? Um, bases. Bases? That's cool. What are you making with? Natural product, hey? Yeah. That's awesome. Mine, my base is right behind Look you. Look at that. So there's Dan's base. Dan, do you want to talk? Do you want to tell us about your base, mate? It's both We um, put leaves in this yep. on here so the rain doesn't go in. Okay, yep. And we put this stuff in there for the mattress. Yep. So we want to get. Um, yep, that's hurt. what we're doing then. That's Excellent, doing. mate. Excellent. This is my base here. This is my first base. Um, I got like a supporter for this, and then I got a covering. Then I got the outline of where the bed is going to be, and a little pillow there. And then I got another base. Wow. I call it over here. Yep. My second base just in case because there's water comes in high see there yeah we're pretty, pretty much high, on the high tide now aren't we and that can swoop up in the night yep so i build my second base in there 
Got That's a, excellent. Got a bed in there. So, looks like these kids are going to sleep here tonight. We'll have a lot of space for the swag then. No! You guys, you guys better get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, Make this one's this one's comfy. This one's yeah, comfy. pretty comfy. Yeah. So are you yeah, got, cool. Are you both you going to fit in there tonight? Uh, Andy, do you think you'll sleep in one of their bases here? Hey, 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 not in that one. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not sleeping in that. Andy's sleeping in that. And Andy, probably... which one are you sleeping in tonight? Dan, which one are you sleeping in? in that one. Nice. This one's my first one, which is like my most. I my... reckon you'll be sharing it with the crabs or the fish. Mm. No, no. No, you don't think so? I'm not sleeping in that one. I'm sleeping in that one. Oh, you're sleeping, you're sleeping yeah, right in on. that one, are you? Second base dressing. Good job. Oh, okay. All right, guys, this is our cooking show right here in front of Pancake Creek. It's beautiful. Look at it. So, the boys. They've got frankfurts. We're just about to boil the water, but come over here. Come over here. Check this out. All right, here we go. Check out this baby Q. Ready? Yeah. Beautiful pork. On this side, we've got nice chicken wings marinated in soy sauce. Look at that, hey? Check it out. That's what we're having for dinner. And we've got a few corn, corn cobs, but we're gonna have to make some room first because uh. There's just no real estate left. And that's it. That's all we're doing tonight. Nice quick one. So there you go. Enjoy. guys it's morning it's early it's about 6 a.m. we've just reached Jenny Lynn Bank we've got the kids and we've got Ryan they've just done a recce to see where we can find the track and it looks like they found it check this out guys got it excellent all right we found our track and uh, we're gonna go up it. Let's have a look, eh? Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you reckon, guys? Oh, we're gonna do it? Yeah. Let's do it. And let's not stop. Let's not. Let's go. Do just what you want.
welcome to the Busted Head Lighthouse. As you can see over here, we have the 152 year old Busted Head Tower. It's uh, technically, it was the first lighthouse in Queensland, but it's the second oldest as Morton. Morton was the first, but uh, that was New South Wales when that went up. Uh, and now we're, we're just here as caretakers. We, we look after this place 24 seven. The Busted Head Lighthouse Association has the lease of this place and welcomes people up to, uh, to do our tours through our museum. And uniquely, this light tower is the only one in Queensland that you can go inside as a working lighthouse. Hmm. And the, um, the graveyard is also a part of the tour that we do. It's 200 metres down the track and there's 11 graves in there and uh, we've just been over here maintaining the graveyards the fences and uh, reducing the fuel load with the uh, with the ever-present fires around the place we needed to do a bit of uh, fuel load control so uh, nice to talk to you blokes and uh, come and visit us sometimes bye you can't hear it and when you're dying that's right that's right so we just passed the lighthouse and we're heading down to the graveyard at the moment so there's been a, quite a few tragedies in the past we've had young kids <clears throat> scald to death we've had suicides we've had murder and we've had drownings all in the early 1900s and late 1800s so we're just coming to the graveyard now check it out looks really nice the caretakers have done a great job at restoring it all it's not roped off walk through just be very respectful guys So who's was it? Also a dear sister, Mary. Mm. Yeah, there's a whole family here. Who was accidentally drowned? Drowned in pancake over here, 1889. What? What's that one? What does, what's that one wrong? That one is Lizzie, and this one is Millie Wayne. This is this is the little kid that um, died age two from. A scald. Got scald. What happened? What's a scald? Got burnt with hot water. She drowned in pancake. She drowned in the creek. Okay, this is little Millie Way. She was the one. Uh, that is... Alright guys, so two ways to get, to get up to this busted head lighthouse. First way, the obvious way, and the way we came was by boat. So go into Jenny Lynn Creek and then go up the Lark Track. And the second one is by going with the Lark Tours in 1770. So hope you like this. It's pretty good history. There you go. Cut in, so we're not going out the front through the thick of it. 
We're in a spring tide, so we should have plenty of water, but it's quite narrow through here, especially with the big boat. There you go. Look at that. So here we are, last day on Pancake Creek. Creek and just wanted to show you guys how beautiful the morning was, how beautiful the creek in there is. Perfect day. I also wanted to make mention, have a look at the gear we packed for one night. You think we're here for a week, hey? Again, you take as much gear for one night as you do for a week. But that's okay, we were comfortable. We had a, we had a good night, we had beautiful weather. Nice little spot parked up here on the, um, on the high area here, the flattest part. Kids are still building. They're gonna be builders, I'll tell ya. There you go, very good. Alright guys, this marks the end of our trip. We had an awesome trip. As usual, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. subscribe! There you go guys. There you have it. Take care. Righto. So here we are, we've come to the last day on Pumpkin Island. We aren't on Pumpkin Island, take two. <laughs> <laughs>